So this is your last call. If you guys don't know, you usually look at the end of the week for the vendors. So specifically, 801, Banshees, Zer, and Eververse in that order. Now, I will start a new thing where if I don't cover the beginning of the week, like where I usually go through challenges and Eververse, um, I'll put it in this video. So that way you guys are still aware of what the seasonal challenges are. Just because usually uh, the middle of the week is pretty rough for me because I'm working my full-time job. And now it's even worse because... I get off at a later time now, which means I have less time to actually do those videos. So most of my, the bulk of my videos will most likely be coming out at, I want to say still the, still the week days. It's just that a bulk of it will be done during the weekend. So like right now it's Sunday. Usually we do the, the, uh, the last call video on Sunday. So that way you guys can see what uh, Banshee is selling, but I'm also currently working on a bunch of stuff. The new exotics for the classes, I've got two out of the three. So Warlocks is the last one. I'm working on the exotic ornaments. That one was a little rough because you guys will see I've changed the format a little bit. Um, and then the Plague Breaker armor set as well. I've already done all of these sets. I just have to do the voiceovers. And that's the same thing for everything. I just need to do the voiceovers for all these videos. And then I'll just be posting them within the weekend or weekdays. And then the weekend's just going to be for me uh making the videos so like editing and stuff so yeah uh unfortunately i just schedule had to be changed and it's gonna be a little bit more hard to make content during the weekdays but not not as insane because i can still grab footage which is what i did this week so needless to say this is just me saying um i'm adding this seasonal challenges part if i don't have time to do it in the beginning of the week so let me know what you guys think other than that Missions of Mercy 2, complete part 2 of Act 1, Elixni Rescue. So all of the story for Act 1 is available to you already. So most likely, if you completed it all already, this is going to be complete unlocked for you already. Liquid Armor, Craft Enriching, enriching to Tonics in Eidos Tonic Laboratory. Not hard at all, just do the tonics. I will be going over what I did to get most of these done, but yeah, it wasn't hard. Uncommon Herbalist, Collect Powder, the Uncommon Regents used to make tonics in Ido's Tonic Laboratory. So I've been playing just a bunch of the um, Onslaught activity, which is uh, specifically the the, uh, the the Revenant uh, version of it, which is, I mean, why not? You just you get pieces from the armor set and the new weapons as well, so that's why I've been running it. Acoustic performance deal final blows with primary ammo in gambit crucible or vanguard ops activities earn bonus progress for pulse rifles scout rifles or submachine guns final blows or by defeating guardians I'm gonna be complete completing this in vanguard ops I've been playing a bit of gambit just because I wanted some good bygone rolls but um, Crucible I'm definitely not gonna do it in just because I feel like crucible has gotten a bit boring for me personally and this is definitely um not an attack but a critique towards the fact that they changed the special uh, ammo economy i just find it kind of boring um i'm to be fair like primary like battles is fun but there's something to be said about being able to go into a crowd of people and then shotgunning them all some people are going to say well of course you're using a shotgun it's special ammo but you you ignore a lot of the things where well I, do, I have to make sure that I'm flanking people correctly because I'm, if I'm not, they're just going to turn around and shoot me in the face. There's also to be said, like, if you're allowed, if you're getting, if you're getting enemies uh, behind you a lot, that's more saying your lack of skill than anything else because I shouldn't be able to get, go behind you, especially when you have a free radar. But that's just, that's just another can of worms that I don't want to get into. Needless to say, I'm not playing Crucible as much as I used to. Uh, Spark Defender, score points in Rift, bonus progress is awarded for igniting the Rift. So that is pretty much it for these seasonal challenges. I, it's funny that they gave us a Rift one because I don't even see Rift here. I just see Clash, uh, Class Clash, Rumble, and Momentum Control. So yeah, I don't know what that is about. Um, I wonder if you can do it in the private thing because you would be able to do Rift, right? Yeah. I don't know. I, I would want to see that just to see if it works, because if it does, that'd be kind of stupid. Um, as for the fit for the video, let's go for that first, because uh, thankfully, like I said, I got the exotic for the hunters. I'm I'm still kind of like wondering how I feel about it because I've been using it a little bit and it's just uh, I don't know. It's hard. It's rough to like see like, oh, that's what it does compared to like the Titans or the Warlocks, specifically the Titans. Titans is so much fun. 
Um, this is what I ended up going with because the helmet kind of reminds me of like a Japanese uh, samurai mask, which is why I went with pure Japanese vibes. We have the Iron Simiki, the Iron Remembrance, Iron Fellowship, and then the Iron Pledge, which all of it is just Japanese as fuck. Um, I will say this is not the like, you don't have to use this. You can use the Iron Sim Simiki boots. I think those are really good as well. Iron Remembrance as a whole, I think the chest piece is the best piece and the other pieces are kind of whatevers. Maybe the mark or the cloak would be good. Iron Simiki arms are really good. Um, yeah, there's just, there's a few Japanese pieces that I could talk about. I probably will talk about it in the actual review for the exotic um in game because i feel like i'd just rather show you in game but yeah if you, even if you didn't want to go for the japanese route i did go for a, like another route but i'll save that for that video but let me know what you guys think also actually I pre before we go um i ended up using canis coat because the iron fellowship strides specifically these two pieces on the uh the, the groin they don't change color so yeah if you were wondering why i went with that shader it's because these two don't change color which is very annoying because if it was up to me i'd probably be using refined revels because refined revels uh the glow is actually this blue so yeah also speaking the blue glow doesn't change color um as for ada one we have envious touch uh new pacifica rush And then New Monarchy Regalia, which is one of my favorite shaders. This also looks pretty bitchin'. Um, as for the actual armor set, I'm gonna show it up right now so that way I can actually go and check the armor out. I will say I don't really give a shit about the Hunter's armor set. Like, it's not terrible by any means. I think the helmet is decent. I think the chest piece is cool. Uh, the arms and the boots and the cloak are probably the worst pieces, specifically because the arms I'm not the big fan of just the mess of it. The boots have a bandage on, on the ankle on the right side that does not change color. And then the cloak, I think, is just very, 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 very boring. So, yeah, that's just me personally. Titans, however, um, all of it is really good. Uh, sec for the mark and the chest piece to a certain extent. That being said, I still think it's pretty good. Helmet is really cool because it actually shaders. And I say this as a jab to another helmet that looks like this one because it doesn't change color it's specifically the vanguard variant from uh vanilla destiny 2 so if you were, were wondering like oh like i like this helmet but i want it to shader retrograde is what it's called this is the helmet you're gonna want to get the arms are super dope i think the chest piece or the boots i, I th the boots are super dope and again i think the chest piece is just a little bit on the boring side Warlocks, it's yours is actually not terrible by any means. Um, I think the chest piece is pretty cool, especially if we want to go for like a very like not tactical, but I don't know. The neck I think it looks really cool because you have that fur on the actual like neck, which I think is cool. I think the helmet is decent. I think the arms and the boots are boring but still usable. I think and I think the bond is like whatever. So let me know what you guys are gonna be picking up. As for Banshee, we have memory interdict with Quick draw and chain reaction, peace of mind with Autolone holster and harmony. Juraraka <laughs> with hip fire grip and jade stone. Imperial decree with pugilist and snapshot sights, and then uh, Pixa Tutu with uh, fragile focus and demolitionist. Yeah, nothing great. I mean, to be fair, this is a red border, so I don't know. I don't remember if you can just keep buying it and the red, and you can just keep doing the red border thing. That being said, um, I would strictly only pick this up if you were wanting a really oh excuse me if you were wanting a really good um main not, not vein main but like a primary shotgun because this will be going in your primary slot i love it it's one of my favorite shotguns just because it's stupidly good um it does have a cool skin as well but that's the only one i would recommend personally let me know what you guys think as for Zer, he is selling tractor cannon catalyst which is pretty good increased ammo reserves uh, the fourth horseman catalyst, which adds an additional round in the magazine and increases reload speed. I love fourth horseman. I haven't used it in a while, but that doesn't mean I still don't love it. Um, Celestial Nighthawk, which is okay rolls. I would like to see that resilience a little bit higher. Worm God Caress with some actually good rolls. Mobility at two is nice. And then Crown of Tempest with a resilience of 30. A natural 30 is kind of wild. Um, recovery is really low, but... I mean, at this point, you could bump up the resilience to 42 with, yeah, you can bump it up with a plus 10 and then masterwork it to get a plus two. 
getting you 12, which is 42, which would be essentially two armor pieces at 21, which is pretty decent. So I would get it, but I also don't give a shit. As for the other stuff, we're going to be looking at Hawk Moon with Eye of the Storm, Arbalist, which I definitely would recommend, Cold Heart, and then Darcy. For the actual weapons down here, we have Shoot to Loot with Adagio, Kept Confidence with Invisible Hand and Harmony, 7th Seraph CQC 12 with Slide Shot and Trench Barrel, Imperial Needle with Impulsor Amplifier and Wellspring, Behringer's Memory with Field Prep and Demo, Shattered Cypher with Auto Loading Holster and Rampage, and then Quick Fane with Tireless Blade and On Guard. Um, this is a red border weapon if you guys are interested and I also just love this weapon It's one of my favorite shotguns in the game if I'm being quite honest And I do think Shattered Cypher it, This is an interesting role The only unfortunate part is that auto loading holster did get nerfed So it's like two seconds instead of one which you definitely feel As for the armor set it's going to be the Kairos function stuff Specifically the mercury armor So I am not the biggest fan of this armor um, That being said there are some pieces that are better for some of the classes so Hunters, I think the helmet is pretty decent. I think the arms are cool. Boots are super cool. Chest piece is decent. And then I think the, I mean, to be fair, I think all of it is pretty decent. Um, I think my critique comes when we look at the Titans and Warlocks, more so Warlocks, but Titans, you still have some cool pieces. The helmet is pretty cool. Uh, the arms are super cool when I combine it with a certain chest piece. The chest piece itself, I think is kind of bland. Boots, I'm not a big fan of, and I think the mark is pretty terrible. Warlocks, I hate that helmet. I hate the chest piece. Um, I hate pretty much everything in this set. Like the helmet's not that great. The chest piece is not that great. I think the arms and the boots, I don't like that like that fluff, not fluff, but like that extra layer of cloth. I think that's kind of goofy looking. The boots especially have like an extra cloth on top of the boots that just looks stupid to me. And I think the bond is whatever. So I don't really have that much positive things to say about this armor. I mean, if you like it, I mean, to more, more power to you. I'm not going to tell you how to dress, but for me personally, I just don't really like it. So as for the actual armor rolls, I'll just have them up right now. So that is pretty much it for Zert. Let me know what you guys are going to be picking up. Uh, I don't think he has stuff that's like worth worth buying right now. To be fair, there are some cool pieces, but I don't know. I, I wish we, we got it a little bit more stuff from Zer. Um Not just, you know, some, I don't know. It's hard to explain. I like Zer. Don't get me wrong. I like Zer. It's just, uh, I would like to see something more for newer players that were decent to get. Like some rare armors, maybe he could be the vendor that sells stuff from older seasons, specifically like actually targeted stuff that you can do. That would be really cool because he gave me substitutional alloy. And I think that'd be cool if like you could just be like, oh, maybe you want more of a chance to get this armor set instead of another. I think that would be way better, but let me know what you guys think. And then last but not least, we're going to be looking at Eververse. So Lucid, definitely a really good shader. Would recommend it. It's a really good shader, especially if you want to go for like a hive theme. This is a dope one to get. We have Shards of Stillness, which is the Stasis Shader. Um, Ossified Entrance. Read the map. And then the Mystio Strides for the Hunters, which I hate these boots. I will also be doing the Assassin's Creed armor tomorrow. So if you are interested to see how this armor is utilized, by me then definitely look out for that video because i'm going to be posting that tomorrow um and then let's show you guys the titans and warlocks that way if you guys are interested because definitely don't want to keep you guys hanging because I, oh man the titans especially dog y'all's armor is bitching as fuck so let me see if i can find it here it is so yeah you get the wolf kiss greaves which is viking themed specifically um from Assassin's Creed Valhalla, not the not the actual in-game area, more so after I think the main character. Not that I know because I haven't played that game. Um, it's just something someone told me in a comment, even though pretty sure I didn't mention that it was based off of the actual in-game area, more so just it was from that game itself. And then we have Eagle's Boots, which I'm pretty sure this is Altair themed, which this does look boring. I will say it does look boring, but I still would recommend it because there's some cool things you can do with that armor set. So let's go back to Eververse real quick. Uh, stuff at the bottom, we have Lost Air for Buried Bloodline. I'm still thinking about getting this. I'm not too sure. 
That being said, fuck it, we'll get it. How much is it? That's not that bad. All right. Um, pack rat. You know, it'd be cool if, like, when you like used your boost, like maybe the mouth would like open. I don't know. Um, I'm not gonna try to say that shit. Kermit the frag. Kermit the frag. Wow. Well. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Don't know. Don't judge me on it. Um, we have the Cade 6 shell, which looks pretty cool. Not enough for me to buy it, but I, de I definitely appreciate it. Uh, dressing Fancy. Sweetheart Dance. Cringe, dog. Absolute cringe. Dido Capsule Entrance. We have the Blind Clutch. Which is season of the undying reef shimmer this is the first thing you can and then masonry or masonry for the new gold and black shader which is so bitching i'm i'm gonna try to make a video on this tomorrow so that way people get their eyes on it but don't hold your breath considering i've always said that i never do it that being said i do want to do it. we'll see we'll see dog so I'm, I'm really busy this week spark of joy seven sisters and then their Verdigris, Verdigris. And that is pretty much it. Let me know what you guys are gonna be picking up from all of the stuff we looked at. Um, yeah, I have currently been playing um, a lot of Onslaught, which is why I'm kind of getting super burnt out. To be fair, I don't think it's a wise idea to only give this season one activity because uh, burnout happens, especially one as long as Onslaught. Onslaught usually takes around 10 to 15 minutes to complete usually, which is very terrible compared to this right here, which it's like Battlegrounds Echoes, Battlegrounds Echoes Expert, the Exotic Encore, Enigma Protocol, and then Air Air Arena Breach Pro Executable. So like this had a lot of activities and there was still stuff within the season you could do. This is just Onslaught and then Onslaught again, but like I can choose what I want to do. So like we need another activity because uh, Onslaught's terrible. I mean, it's not terrible. I shouldn't say that. It's it's fine. It's super cool. It's just when you do it after your 50th run, you, you tend to not care anymore. So that's why I've been doing Gambit and Vanguard, just other stuff to like do stuff. Um, and then the new dungeon is super dope. That being said, um, I still need to run it a lot more. To be fair, dog, I do have Icebreaker. I ended up getting it for my second completion, which I'm super happy about because God Almighty did. I really not want to do that dungeon a lot because that last boss is terrible and I'm probably not even going to solo flawless it just because I personally don't really give two slight shits anymore. Um, to be fair, I've always said this if they gave me like a cool thing to do or get like for example if they gave me like a, the emblems cool um but I would much prefer a shader if they gave me a shader I feel like that would be way better because it would actually motivate me to do it but let me know what you guys think I appreciate y'all coming to this point remember I'm gonna be posting a bunch of content for y'all um dude it's pretty crazy just the amount of stuff I have on my editing page right now it's just a lot of stuff to do so i appreciate y'all be safe i'll see you guys later